Hey guys, Bing here. Today I'm going to show you how to model this um, room tag, room tag, sorry, room tag to show width and the length of the room. Okay, so first let's create a project and I'm going to place some wall and also a room. Okay, so now let's edit this tag, edit family. Um, I'll leave the name here. I'll, 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 I'll delete just the number and also I'll delete this. And I'm going to um, copy the label, or you can just create a create a label, a new label. Okay, you can copy from this uh, as well. So I'll just copy this one down here, and then for this one, uh, probably uh, probably I'll just change the size of the text. I'll just create a new so two millimeter and OK, and change that to two and OK. So now. Uh, I, I need to change this uh, so edit label and I, I'll get rid of the name and then I'm going to uh, create a parameter use this okay but before that um, uh, I'll stop here actually I'll stop here I, I'm just going to uh, I'll cancel this I'm going to go back to this room okay so let's have a look of this room so if I click on this room and look at this um, uh, properties so you will see that's one area here and also a per parameter here so let's do some um, mass okay so new so if this room if this equals a so this will so of course this room need to be a rectangular shape okay so bay and also bay right so the parameter so this parameter so let's call it pay a equals uh, a plus a times two okay so area let's call it a equals a times b okay so um, let's yeah, let's uh, so from from so here's a times two okay so from this one we can get a equals area divided by b and if I put this one into here so p equals uh, a divided by b plus b times 2 so I'll go here P equals um, A divided by B times 2 plus B times 2 so um, so what's next Okay, yep, let's times B on each side. So P, 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 B, okay, P times B, okay, equals 2 at times A plus uh, B, 2 times B square. So what we get is 2b square 2b square minus p b minus or plus 2a equals 0 so we this is uh, the one we have here and if I go back here so this is the formula so so see once we get this and we can we can we can get x equals this one okay so this is called um quad quadratic formula 
Okay, so now we have this one. So we can we can do the formula for the width and length lens. So let's go back to revert. Um, I I need to I need this I need to have in, I need this one too. I need this one here, and also I need this one here. I'll move it here. Okay, so rub it and, and rub it go here. Uh, okay, so now let's go to this um, room tag and then click on this one, edit label, and uh, remove the name, and then we need to create a uh, parameter use formula. So here I'm going to call it room width and uh, length and the formula will be this one. Okay, so equals negative b, which the, the b here is this one. In this one is um, this is b. So will be negative p will be positive p so it's p p which p p is parameter p. so you can find it here okay so p so here i'm going to just use plus because uh, if if the width equals plus the length will be um, minus okay so parameter plus sqrt square root of bracket b square b b the b here is this one and in here sorry it's, it's negative p is same as this one so square root of negative um p negative parameter bracket square minus so then I need another bracket here minus 4 oops 4 times a a here is 2 okay so times 2 and c here c here is 2a so times 2 and times 2a, 2 times 2a, a's area. So times 2 times 2 times, oops, times area here. And then I'll use bracket square plus and divide by 2a. So here a is 2, so which means divide by uh, 4. Okay, so bracket and bracket and divide by 4. Let's, okay, so and uh, let's have a look. So, and if I click OK. And just have a test, okay? Go back. So 7030. Not this one. This one. So which is correct. Yeah? And then let's go back to do the uh, the other the other one. So which is length. So I did a label. So this one. So, uh, I'm just going to do another one. So for, uh, I'll actually just copy this one. Oh no, I don't need to. I don't need to. I'll just do it um, from the area. So I'll call it room length. Then and uh, I'll use area area divided by room width. Okay. So and also I'm going to change the format. So instead of use millimeter, I'm going to use meter. 
and and also I'll type in here type a space x so this one I'm going to change the format as well so I'll change that to meta with an n and OK and OK um, I'll now load this into this project so so now the six choose correct right yeah maybe just get rid of this box edit family vv and show all the this uh yep and i'll just delete it and then just adjust it a little bit and load back into the project so now i have this room tag so it will show as long as the room is a rectangular shape so see if it's rectangular shape it will always show the show the um, width and length right six two yeah but if if you if your room shape is not rectangular shape I don't think it will work so this is so if what's this I don't know maybe a draw wall here so then it won't work for this okay so only when it's rectangular shape okay so that's it uh, I'll I'll upload this uh, tag so you can have a look over this uh, formula here and and this one okay um, that's it so let me know if you have any questions and I'll see you next time thank you bye